Okay, this is a lecture video to get us started understanding the rhythm or durations of notes. So you should refer to this worksheet. It's the first goldenrod uh, one in your packet. It's not actually a worksheet, it's a reference page. And basically it says to begin with, music is organized into groups of steady beats. And they have a symbol at the beginning of the first line that will tell you if you've got them grouped together in two, like a march, one, two, one, two, left, right, left, right. Or in three, like a waltz, one, two, three, one, two, three. Or four, four, four beats per measure, which is very common for lots and lots of different kind of music, be it pop, classical, doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The bottom number tells us that a quarter note, which looks like that gets a beat, okay? So it, even though it's not a fraction, it kind of works like a fraction and says there's two beats per measure or in between the bar lines and the quarter note gets the beat. That would be one beat right there. Three beats, quarter note gets the beat. Four beats, quarter note gets the beats. When we get into more complicated time signatures and meters in the second half of the term, uh, that can change. But for right now, that's a good hard fast rule. This is called a quarter note. It has a filled in note and a stem. The stem is usually about three, three and a half um, lines on your staff, not more than that, not much less than that either. Otherwise it looks stubby or overly long. Now, quarter notes can be divided into eighth notes, two eighth notes, and they can be singular, or if they're together inside a beat, you'll see those flags join together and make a beam like that. These are made proportionally, so you can see that the eighth note is worth half the time duration of a quarter note. So this is worth a whole of a beat, single beat. This is worth 50% or 0.5 of a beat or half of a beat. And if we put two of them together, they make a beat. And if you have them together in a beat, they're often joined with a bar across the top. We call that a beam instead of having separate little flags like that. Okay. And then when we count things, if it's on a beat, like one, right? And then hmm, two, and then three, then we count that one and two and three, okay? And then if we had notes that went in between those, let's make four of these like your example. So one, two, three, four go for a whole beat. Then the in-between is one and two. So you can see that they both line up ones, twos, but these guys are between and, one and two and. You're familiar with this already because you've seen Lavender's Blue, right? Which has a rest at the beginning that's what a rest looks like. It's just same durations, just silence. So it'd go one, two, three, four, rest. Lavenders, like that, okay? And then we can introduce a new note here. Half note looks like a quarter note, except the middle part is of the, the note is not filled in. It's twice as much value or duration as a quarter note. So this is a beat. And those are two beats, right? Now getting back to this, you've already seen the eighth notes because we have music that looks like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and, right? The beats keep going along. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. One, two, three, and four, and, and so on. Today, if we can get that far as a concept, that's great. Now what we want you to do is be able to recognize the notes from each other and how much they're worth when we have something above a four. So, quarter note filled in, head and a stem. Quarter note, one beat. Eighth note is half a beat. 
and you can have them separate or they could be paired together. A half note, which is not filled in, but otherwise looks similar to a quarter note, is worth two beats. And if you get rid of the stem and make it a little bit squishier altogether, that's what we call a whole note. So, eighth note, filled in, stem, flag, or beams when they're together, half of a beat. Quarter note, a full beat. Half note, that gets two beats. Whole note, it gets four beats. Okay? All right, we're gonna do one last thing and we'll call it good for now and then you can go take the micro quiz. Sometimes notes have dots on them. Dots are a quick and efficient way of adding 50% of the note's value to the note. So, this is worth one beat. With a dot, it's worth one and a half beats. It's worth as much as a quarter note and an eighth note put together, right? Three eighth notes worth. And then that's so half a beat, one beat, one and a half beats, two beats. If we put a dot on that one, it adds 50% of what that is. And this is two beats, so this will be three beats. In other words, it's worth three quarter notes. Let's see if I can show you how that looks. Like that right there. Okay? And then whole note is worth four beats. I guess you could put a dot on that or on any note and add 50%, but these are the ones we commonly use. For your micro quiz, it's really just gonna test you on, can you recognize what these are called and how many beats they are? Half of a beat, whole beat, one and a half beats, two beats, three beats, four beats. Eighth note, quarter note, dotted quarter note, half note, dotted quarter note, whole note. That's it for this.